good morning friends and welcome back to my channel so if you're new here then hello welcome um my name is julianne and i make content about health and fitness and i myself am on a health and fitness journey just to improve my overall well-being really and so in the last few weeks my fitness and like health routine i guess have gone through a bit of changes and i thought i would kind of update you guys give you an updated what i eat in a day now i am doing more strength training in my workouts and so i want to eat a little bit more protein than usual but also keeping it mostly plant-based i do eat i would say kind of in between a mediterranean diet and a vegetarian diet i don't eat as much meat as on a mediterranean diet some days i'm vegan it really just depends on how i'm feeling and like what we have available really but no i don't eat that much meat so even though i want to up my protein a little bit i don't want to up my like meat consumption so i'm finding plant-based options with lots of protein in them So something that definitely hasn't changed is that I'm still drinking coffee, although not as often because I did get some really good quality matcha for Easter this year, which I was so happy about. And so I'm kind of switching off. One day I'll do matcha, one day I'll do some coffee. Um, today's a coffee day and I am really hungry. I'm going to start making breakfast. I think I'm going to make an omelet today. Yeah. Usually I'll have like an egg on toast with some tomatoes or something, but we don't have any bread, so omelet it is. So for breakfast, I made an omelette and in the middle I put a little bit of feta cheese and then on top I put some arugula or <laughs> whatever you call it in your country. I've heard it arugula, rucola, and rocket. Um, and then some tomatoes with salt and pepper and some balsamic reduction. And so this should be super tasty and I'm very excited about it. Wow, that was surprisingly delicious. I wasn't really following anything and it was just kind of because we didn't have any toast. So I'm really happy, that was really good. I think what I'm gonna do now is just relax a bit, enjoy my coffee. I need to do some like cleaning around the house and stuff like that. And then I'll come back to you guys. I need to do some stretching cause I am so sore. I woke up today so sore because of the workouts that I did in my last vlog. So if you didn't see that, then go check it out. It was me attempting to test my strength and I didn't do so well with my strength and now I'm so sore my whole body. So I'll come back to you guys with some stretches. Okay, 
Okay, so now it's lunchtime and I'm gonna make something that's really easy and quick but also super nutritious and yummy. So it's just like a bowl pretty much and I prepared some sweet potatoes in the oven before I roasted them just with a bit of olive oil, some uh, turmeric and then salt and pepper and that was it and I had some leftovers in the fridge so I'm gonna use that and then as a base I'm just gonna use some lettuce. So just put in like a handful of lettuce and then for some protein I'll put in some chickpeas, tomatoes, some cucumber, And then I have some sweet potatoes left over. I'm gonna put some of those on. Okay, and then for a dressing, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of olive oil, and then I really like to put in a tiny drizzle of soy sauce and then also a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Hey guys, and we are back for dinner time, and I'm so excited we're going to make a really tasty recipe. It's from The Minimalist Baker, and it's like a pea spinach pesto type thing, and I've made it once before. It is so good, so we're gonna make that now. Okay, so for this recipe, you want to make like a pesto sauce from peas and other things, but all of my ingredients are frozen. So for me, the first step is to just like put the ingredients in the blender and then I'm gonna cook out the pasta because then maybe this will like thaw out a little bit from being like frozen chunks of spinach and stuff. Whoops. I don't have any basil or like fresh parsley, so what I'm gonna do instead is I have like dried parsley and then I'm gonna put in just like a few things of spinach and hopefully that'll be okay. <laughs>
I hope you guys really like these recipes. What I like most about them is that one, they are so delicious. Like, especially the lunch, I could eat that almost every day probably and I wouldn't get sick of it. Like, every single time I have it, I love it so much. And it's so easy to just like change little things about it, to introduce new flavors. You could make it more like Asian inspired or you could have it more like Italian tasting and it's so nutritious. Another thing is that they are so quick to make. The pasta, it was just to blend up the sauce and to cook the noodles and then to mix it and that was it. It was so easy. And then again with the lunchtime bowl thing, it's all just like chopped veg and any prepared food that you already have. I mean, you can cook the sweet potatoes when you're just gonna eat it then and they don't take very long, maybe only 20 minutes, but you can prepare a bigger batch of them and keep them in your fridge for the next few days. The recipe that I made for dinner, the pesto pasta, I will leave that in the description because it is from The Minimalist Baker and she has really great recipes. I'll leave that down below, but it is different from how I made it. I was following her recipe, but I didn't have the ingredients, so I just, based off of that, made my own, pretty much. And so you guys can probably do the same. Like, if you're, if you don't have pine nuts, that's what's in the recipe, then, like, I just used walnuts. I think any kind of nut would work. In all of the recipes, all three of them have a good amount of protein in them, which is something that I'm working on consuming just a little bit more protein because I am doing more strength training in my workouts right now and if you're interested in that and my story about that then go back and watch some of my older fitness videos. I was doing the body project for a month and then I was doing Pilates for a month so if you guys are interested then go back and watch those videos. If you guys like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. It really supports me and I would love to grow with you guys. Just like encourage more people. I think what I want for my channel is just to be sustainable health. No fad diets, no nonsense pseudosciences or anything. I just want it to be real. I want to be honest with you guys and I want my journey to be long lasting and sustainable. So if you're subscribed to my channel, then I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!